Okay, welcome to this course. We're going to have Drupal 10 set up and also have it on your Mac and also on your Windows. So I'll show you step by step how to set this up, how to do it for Drupal 10. Uh, Drupal 10 is a new release and if you go up, you can see some of the benefits of Drupal 10. And the team changed a lot of uh, new things got um, got updated. So and it's really looking very very nice. I really love the admin team. I love a lot of new features on it: security, performance, scaling, and I think it's faster from what I've observed um, from Drupal 10 too. So we just need to do the installation and see how this goes on on Mac and Windows. So first thing you need to do, you first need to go straight to my. Um, you can see it's case because it goes um, PHP MySQL uh, Mac text. So just go through this link. I can share this link on um, a, a, a screen. Just go through it on how to install. First, you need to install PHP in your system. Then you move straight to getting your MySQL set up too. Um, that's very, very easy for you to do. First thing you need to do is uh, ensure you have Homebrew. I believe if you're using Mac, you already have that. If not, just go to Homebrew uh, and then install it. Once you're done with that, run the scripts on your system uh, to enable Apache and the likes. Uh, so you just do sudo uh, apache starts so once you do this um, apache has started and the next step you need to do is to just do the cd um, copy this in and then you start your apache once you're done with that uh, that is we pretty much uh, straightforward i just open my terminal here um, and then you can see I can do this dash V to see what version I am. I am using version 8.113. So this version I'm using, if you do yours and you don't get to see it, please run that. I'll set up a PHP on your system and you will be good with it. Um, then you can move straight to checking up your MySQL aspect to see if it is. So uh, we'll go back to our setup. All you need to do also is go through this, enter this part, uh, brew install MySQL. Then you go straight to the services, get the services on, check um, the brew services, and set up secured um, installation. So what secure installation is going to do is to ensure that your system is set up you remove um, you validate your password you remove anonymous users you disable login from remote you remove test data databases and the likes and then you also give privileges if you want to and after that you just run this run this once you run this on your command line you can see i'm doing it now I need to ask me for my password. So I'll enter my password. Enter my password in. Yeah, I'm already in my MySQL. And you can see it here. It tells us you can see show databases. And then enter. You see the databases I have here. And uh, quick one you can just create a database you can say create database database uh, 10 yeah so you can see that query has gone in um, then you can see do show databases again to see if that uh, database is already there and now you can see it uh, there's already uh, Drupal 10 in it so this is the the straightforward uh, setup for our database and also ensuring that uh, php mysql is on your system so uh, the next step we're going to do this is for those using mac the next step we're going to do is to get our 
of Drupal setup. So first we go straight to a browser. Let's just Drupal. You can so two ways to do that. Go to build so Drupal.org, come to build, you come to download from download settings from downloads menu. You can just run this. So if you run this command, composer should be installed on your system and also uh you having php which you have set up already so uh, i think for composer is very easy if you want to do that you can go to um, get composer so get composer you can see it just go here um go to your download from your downloads you can run that on your mac i think it's quite uh pretty much straightforward for for um, mac users and the likes so just go through it you can see yeah i think just run this it copies it and does the installation and everything so once you're done with that you can just go back to your uh terminal and then let me exit this so it's you can go back to the terminal then say composer once you do that you if you are getting this then it means that you already have composer installed on your system and so once that is done just come in here you copy this let's run with this so we're going to do it in two phases we will run this and also we we'll get to uh do the other aspects so this is the first space very easy straightforward for you to do your setup um i run straight into my folder directly let's go through folders and then i can just uh, get this sorted so i have a file So under documents, on documents, I can go to. I just want to get my apps. Uh, okay, let me put it here. I can just create a new directory. Let me call it Looper. Got ten, as we have been doing. So from here, I can go to my finder services and other services i just run a, a new tab here so i have two tab this is one first one and then this one too and here i can do php um let me run the command everything just paste it and then boom click it and you start installing going straight uh, is getting all the modules set up um, so some of the core Drupal modules is being installed and this this might not take much time from the settings that have done previously it doesn't take much time so once you're done we're very close to finish line and yeah so please just ensure this is for mark those um the windows users will get to also get to you and we have another uh, setup too another quicker one if you don't want to use command line and the likes you want to go straight to your uh, system it's fine i'll show you that too how you can run your uh, system so yeah i think we're almost done yeah good so you can see what just happened after it it's taking me straight to watch watch um i think this is taking a little much time let's just see was loading 
the local host actually and um, was actually taken yeah so um if you look here you can see that the, the um Zupa has started then you have congratulations this has been stored this is the username and password and then you have the uh, development link here which is localhost and then it's pointed to the port 8888 um this is also the new part of uh, a one-time login which you can just use to log in straight up it takes you to the app where you log in and do all that so this is one step to get this done um it will load on the browser once you hit it up and the likes so that's the first step the other step i want to do here it is to use um what i have on my environment here so there's another step here so we go straight to